Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, and it's a new day, a new week, so good morning. This is You Said What? Hey, everyone. I'm Shannon Galladay in California, and I'm here live with Sarah in Florida on the East Coast, and we have a live guest, Meredith, from California as well, so welcome, welcome, everyone. We hope you had a great weekend and ready to jumpstart a new week. So today, we are going to talk about working out with people. So when we're talking to people and you say, hey, do you want to work out with me? That is our topic for today. So welcome everyone. Thanks for joining live. It looks like we have Ashley and Steven. Welcome guys. Thanks for joining from Arizona. Great to see you. So welcome everyone. We're going to turn it over to Sarah. So take it away. Hi guys. Good morning. Nice to see you, and for those watching the recording, good morning. It's, as Shannon said, it's a new week, it's a new month, right? So um, today, the topic of the you said what is, by the way, it's either you said or you thought, right? Is the question of the day for our little game is someone, you ask someone, we'll go with you ask someone, and you say, hey, you want to work out with me tomorrow? So in the responses, what people say, right? So this one isn't really about us. This is just about all the crazy chaos that you hear <laughs> from other people in life. So I've been in the fitness world for 16, 17 years. So I possibly may have heard some of these more or even crazier ones <laughs> than some of you. However, uh, you know, everyone on this call is into health and fitness and working with people on the journey. So uh, most of them are pretty funny, actually. And it's just, I wanted to make something silly. So anyways, this isn't what we say. This is what you've heard. So uh, Shannon wants to put the, put the board up, I guess, even though they don't automatically flip, we'll pretend, right? We'll use our creativity. So yep, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. So um, Shannon, you said what? To go ahead and pick a number. Let's go for 200. 200. So you tell, you ask a friend or maybe even someone you're just newly talking to, right? And you say, hey, do you want to work out with me tomorrow? And for 200 points, they're like, um, yeah, what kind? What kind of workout? <laughs> and like, they wait for your answer, right? And if you give an answer and they're like, oh, um, yeah, I don't know. I never, do, no, I don't do that. Like, I never, <laughs> I never done that before. <laughs> or, yeah, I can't, I don't know how. So it's really just the, it depends on the kind, right? So it's their way to sell out because if they only run and you say, I want to go do a strength training class or they've never tried spinning because, you know, all they do is yoga. So it like, it, they'll go only if it depends on the kind, right? Which more than likely probably just means they won't go. <laughs> I'm sure we've all heard the contingent worker outers, right? Like it's yes. only their way or no way. So, uh, Meredith, what about you? You gonna hold up your hands? I can't hear you. Five hundred. Okay, five hundred. So you ask somebody, "Hey, do you want to work out tomorrow?" And for five hundred points, they'll be like. Uh, yeah, but I'm not coming with you because you're in shape and I sure as heck I'm not going to be embarrassed. So I'll work out with anybody else but you. Like I also work out with beginners or people who are less in shape than me because I'm not going to be put to shame in this situation. So that's not what plans for tomorrow is to look like a, feel like a failure or whatever. So if you find a beginner, I'll go with them, but I'm not working out with you because you're in shape. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Which, right? Like everybody's heard that, right? Especially if you're in any kind of sport or anything, whether it's paddle boarding, yoga, running, it's like, well, I'm not going with you. You've been doing it for years. Like you're awesome at it. Why, why the heck would I show up with you and embarrass myself? So uh, the fear of looking bad, right, is, is a big stopper for people. So Ashley. All right. Uh, let's go with 100. 100. So 100 points is a pretty easy one, but it's very common. So you say, hey, you want to work out with me tomorrow? And their response is, oh my gosh, did I tell you I have the busiest day ever tomorrow? Like they don't even answer you, right? It's just like, I have to pick the kids up. I got to do this in the morning. I got this all day. Like I got to get dinner ready. Oh my gosh, I got a meeting at night. I can't believe it. I can't believe I haven't even told you how busy my day is tomorrow. So it's like they completely avoid the situation. And they just forgot to tell you how so busy they are tomorrow, right? So another classic excuse, right? No time to work out. So, yes. Um, Steven. Steven, right? Is that your name? Uh-huh. Steven? Okay. How do you Steve or Steven? Yeah. Uh, 400. 400? 
you guys got to get good at remembering which ones have been taken. I, <laughs> you do a better job than I do, I think. So, so for 400 points, um, you ask your friend or someone, and you're like, hey, do you want to work out tomorrow? And all of a sudden, like, they have an injury, right? Like, oh, I think I slept wrong last night. Like, my neck is all funny, or my low back is, like, a little – I must have tweaked something. I'm a little I'm – not, I'm not feeling right. But, like, maybe next week. Maybe next week I'll be feeling better. So – the like made up injury, right? Not that people can't be valid with that, but <laughs> more of a, I slept wrong or yeah, yeah, something's, something's off with me today. So yeah, tomorrow I probably won't feel better either. <laughs> the classic avoidance. Uh, Shannon. Let's we go. One? Yeah, let's go for 600. 600. So believe it or not, I, I've never heard this. Well, I don't know if I ever heard it, but I have heard this from a girl who used to work out with me. She actually knew someone who said this, and I, we just used to laugh at class because we thought it was the most ridiculous thing we ever heard. But So when they would say, if I said, hey, do you want to work out tomorrow? And the answer is, yeah, I don't work out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. Like, that's just, that's just not part of my life. <laughs> like, I can, no, thank you. <laughs> like, so, yes, there are people, oddly enough, in the world, actually, this guy that I'm speaking of, don't mean to make fun of people, but it's hilarious. Was his thing was he's allergic to exercise. Wow, allergic. I've never heard of allergic. Yeah, I'm allergic to exercise. And he was dead serious about it. Like repeatedly, she would ask him on purpose to get the answer, and it was the funniest <laughs> thing ever. So people yeah. will say it all to get out of exercise, right? And improving their health. Yes. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> um, and so I think we have what 300 left, right? That's it. Yep, 300. Yeah, this is a funny one. Probably more women say this than men. However, there are probably men who could say this. Uh, so you ask somebody, hey, you want to work out tomorrow? And their response is, uh, like, you don't want to see all this jiggling. So, like, I'm not going to work out with you. <laughs> so I won't be letting you see all this mess uh, bouncing up and down or jiggling. <laughs> So anyway, those are funny responses that I honestly have heard pretty much all of them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, awesome. <laughs> and as with you guys as coaches, um, I hope you got some laughs out of that. And I can imagine you probably have heard some of them. You might have even have said some of them at some point in your life, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe so much the jiggling one or that I don't work out, I'm allergic to exercise. However, you may have said some of the funnier ones like, I'm so busy or it just depends on the workout right like if you weren't it really weren't in shape in your life and somebody who was in shape or you know was used to a sport and wanted to go do it you would probably try to find a way to get out of it so um anyways the fun little lessons today is just really like as we're all working on goal setting and proving like the reality is mediocrity is everywhere right like excuses are rampant <laughs> so people will find and say anything to get out of anything and the funniest thing is you're really it, with this question is you're inviting someone to better their lives, whether just for that one day, right, for the benefits they get of exercise and being healthy, uh, or to make a change for the rest of their life. And sadly, like you would think, like the body and like the little temple you live in here would be the most important things to people. But we all know, like there's been times maybe of our own lives, right, where it wasn't. And for a lot of people, like they're just so out of that space. Um, where their health is so maybe down in the dumps, or it's not been a priority that getting it back, it's just like, it's crazy for them, right? Like they'll sell out on themselves in any way. So the reality is, um, you know, exercise is a privilege, right? Using our bodies is a privilege. Most of people have it as like a punishment. Um, and especially you can get, if you're 75 pounds overweight and you haven't worked out in 10 years, like you could get, it probably feels like a punishment. Like it doesn't feel like a privilege. However, celebrating what your body can do, however limited it is, or you know, every day you'll get faster and stronger. And that's the greatest thing to remember people. Um, you will get no's, right? People will just flat out say no to you and they'll come up with all these excuses, which is just another form to say no. And like, it's okay. The real thing to be is that you take a stand for others when they can't take a stand for themselves. So like, that's what being a real friend is. That's what being a mentor and a coach is. When people can't stand for themselves, like you stand for them. So when they're selling out and they're more into their excuses, like you take a stand for them and you just let people know that, you know what, I'm here when you're ready. Like, this is my lifestyle. It's my commitment. I, this is who I am. Like I'm an active, healthy person. It's important to me. It's important to me to inspire and help others. And like, I'm here when you're ready. So like, I, I'll stand for you, even if you won't stand your, you know, stand for yourself. And on that day when you're ready, I don't care how slow we go or how pitiful you may think it is or how much jiggling you got going on or whatever the heck you're working with, like, I'll be there to deal with it then, right? And every day you'll get faster and you'll get stronger. 
uh, and you'll find a little bit of self-worth and kind of celebrating what your body can do um, versus, you know, seeing it as a punishment for where you've gone. So anyway, so that's it. Woohoo! Awesome! Awesome show! I, I love that, Sarah. That's so good. And I think that's so important. Like she said, you know, take a stand and be the strong one. Like if someone gives excuses, you know, if, even if you're watching this and you're like, I'm trying to work on my healthy lifestyle, but everyone in my life keeps giving me all these excuses. And so it'd be easier for me just to go with them and say, oh yeah, I guess I'm too tired or whatever. Um, so no, take a stand and take a stand for being healthy, being strong, being the best version of you. And don't let anyone, no matter who it is, even yourself, let you sell out and believe those excuses because you're stronger, you're amazing, you, you can do anything you want. Um, so thanks so much for joining us live, everyone. This was awesome. We like to um, do a little cheer at the end for Energize. So everyone put your hand in the middle. Ready? Three, two, one. Energize. Woo awesome, awesome. Let's take a quick picture with the ones we have live. It looks like we have a caller joining us, too. I think she's from Idaho. So welcome, everyone. And one more time on the picture. One, two, three. Awesome. Well, if you know someone that needs a little motivation, a little boost, please invite them to this call. We're just kicking off this call, and it's awesome. So every Monday morning, and if you're not already a part of our free fitness groups, please join us. We'd love to get to know you and help you to live a more positive, healthier life. So have a fantastic day, everyone. Thanks again, Sarah, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.